Uh, hi. Uh, so the last message I sent or whatever recorded was feeling lost at Canadian Tire. Uh, or Canadian Tire. Tim Hortons. I got Canadian Tire on my head, brain. Uh, I've left uh, Nipigon, uh 10.30 this morning. I'm not exactly sure what time it is, but it can't be any more than after lunch. Maybe one o'clock in the afternoon. On the way, <coughs> I found a nice little, um, I found a nice little uh, picnic area. And uh, I got a picnic table right on the water. It's Lake Helen. Uh, I got, on the way here though, um, there was an Indian reserve. I stopped and bought two packs of smokes, eight bucks. I was gonna say tax in, but there's no tax, so wonderful. Two for $16 of John Players. That's the way they should be. Not fucking $17.95 for JD. So anyway, on my way here, I uh, passed a trucker, he waved. I didn't realize that the wind gusted behind, I mean, I knew it, but I didn't realize it took my coat off the wagon. The second trucker drove by and he's, you know, pointing. I turn around and I see, just as I turn around, the wagon flips over onto this curb, onto the dirt, and I see my coat way, way back there. So I walk and go get it. So they, um, the wagon tipped. One of the wheels is broken. Uh, I don't have a spare. If it was later in the day, I would camp here. It's really nice here um, where I am. So on the way, and it's a beautiful ride. Uh, right, the road goes like this, uh, right along Lake Helen, like fucking spitting distance from the lake. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a bit here. Uh, so up there is uh, just a camp area. The road is over here actually. If you can see, and there's a beach right here. Oh, I can hear a truck coming. So you'll see uh, with the, with like there's the road right there. Look at it, it goes right along the water, along the, the rock head or the rock face. It's a really nice ride. Uh, too bad it wasn't sunny uh, today. Look, OPP, I think. Uh, it's kind of gray. I mean, it was warm enough. Oh, it's, it started to spit rain. Uh, so I had to stop and put the tarp on all of my stuff. But it wasn't enough rain for me to, um, ew, dog shit, I didn't even notice that. <coughs> um, it wasn't raining enough for me to put on the raincoat. Uh, so yeah, there's my, I got my, I had to take everything off the wagon, or off the thing, because the wagon's right there. I'm making some lunch, and uh, I'm gonna rotate the wheels and see what I can do. But here, look at this. So this is Lake Helen. Uh, I don't know how big she is, but I've been riding, I don't know, since I left, all on the lake. Oh, you can't see, but she goes way over there. So over there, that mountain, no, but over this away uh, is Nipigon. Uh, I'm about 10 kilometers from the bridge thing that broke. When they were telling me that the bridge broke, that's the bridge that washed out in January of last year when the bus was canceled on my way to Vancouver. Because I couldn't understand a bridge washing out, but they it was a big thing here apparently with that bridge falling or breaking, kept Canada itself was, because it's a Trans-Canada Highway, Canada was broken apparently. They couldn't get from one side of Canada to the other without that bridge, <laughs> which is kind of fascinating. Do you know what I mean? Like, literally, without that bridge, it's a different country. Or it was like a floating island, that piece of Canada, I guess. I don't know. It's a big deal for the Nipigonians or whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm on Highway 11. I, that's the one I chose. Uh, everybody's telling me it's flat and it has more towns. I'm not in a big hurry to get back to nothing land. Um, right now, I'm living in dogfuck land. Fuck, I talk so much that they always go out on me. Uh, this message or recording isn't for anybody but myself. So on the way here, um, you know, I I'm playing things in my head of what I want to say or record or, and I just, you know what, forget it. I'll just uh, turn it on and start talking because that's what I do best. Things just flow to me that I want to spit out and then it just happens, so. Um, oh. So the gentleman from the Tim Hortons, his name is Chris, he's 43. I ended up uh, spending one more night here. Um, so today is m Monday morning. Um, he offered me, um, 
he, I asked him, you know, where are you from? And he says, uh, he's from Toronto. I'm like, oh my God, what the hell are you doing here? He's like, I came here for a woman. Oh, I said, and uh, I said, oh, there's a story behind that one. I said, so why are you still here? Oh, hang on.